Okay, so for today's video, we're going to have to dramatically change the scale we're kind of used to. Because not only are we going to be leaving the galaxy, we're actually going to be going much, much farther away at distances in hundreds of millions of light years. And by itself, this is already extremely difficult to imagine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to fly faster just so that I can help you maybe sort of visualize what all of the scale here is going to look like. Okay, so in some sense, it's maybe this. But every spot you see, that's an individual galaxy. So yeah, try to visualize this and try to remember the scale. But I guess if you prefer two-dimensional images, here's a rough cross-section of this entire area. Here we're looking at what are known as superclusters. Multiple galactic clusters gravitationally attached to one another creating much larger, much more massive structures that to some extent travel together across the entire universe. And one of the biggest discoveries in the last decade or so was actually a discovery of the supercluster you see in yellow. This is today known as Laniakea, an enormous structure made out of smaller superclusters, which are then made out of smaller groups, including of course the local group where the Milky Way is located. But when this announcement was made, a lot of media sources presented Laniakea as this. This obviously looked much cooler and more artistic, but in essence only showed us the motion of various galaxies, not the actual shape discovered. This though shows us the actual three-dimensional shape. And this was actually discovered back in 2014 using some of the new data that was released just a few months prior to this. Since then, practically 10 years passed, and there's now so much more data available that the scientists behind that discovery have now managed to discover something else in the vicinity that to some extent is even more mind-blowing, also proves a major idea behind cosmology, but also presents us with a new mystery, something in regards to the dark energy that we still don't really understand. So yeah, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this new discovery that in essence potentially looks something like this, with this humongous bubble representing one of the fundamental assumptions of modern cosmology. And that by itself is a huge discovery. Currently, this new bubble is known as Ho'oleilana, a bubble that seems to encompass a lot of various superstructures, including the famous Coma Cluster, Hercules Cluster, Sloan Great Wall, Buddhist Supercluster, and of course the very famous Butes Void. And in case you're wondering, the name Ho'oleilana refers to a Hawaiian creation song that symbolically describes this unusual structure. But before we talk more about exactly what this is, we basically have to take a few steps back and go back in time billions of years ago when the universe was just a few thousand years old. Now all of this today is based on various predictions from cosmology and here we're talking about the universe pretty much before the cosmic microwave background became visible. In essence, right after the universe was created, it was basically filled with this very, very hot plasma. Inside this plasma, things were not entirely uniform, and a lot of these tiny fluctuations started to produce tiny overdensities where slightly more matter would accumulate over time. But because this is plasma and everything here is extremely hot, instead of collapsing into larger objects like stars, there was also a lot of pressure coming from radiation that would push a lot of matter away from it. And so even though some particles would try to combine, instead they would actually get repelled creating these unusual ring-like formations in every direction. But all of this stopped within about 390,000 years, as soon as the universe cooled down enough and the light was able to pass through everything, allowing the matter to finally condense. And this is when things started to solidify into basically objects we know today. But these unusual overdensities remained over time and served as a kind of a foundation for a lot of different galactic structures that actually should still be visible today at least in theory, so we technically expect a lot more galaxies in certain locations because of this overdensity. And based on the analysis from the last two decades, by looking at hundreds of thousands of galaxies, various scientific teams did actually discover an unusual overdensity bump that you're going to see right here on this graph that seems to correspond to a peak at approximately 500 million light years in distance. In other words, to try to understand this, it's basically a kind of a statistical analysis. If we were to look at various galaxies away from our own galaxy, the Milky Way, 
we're actually going to find quite a lot of galaxies at a distance of about 500 million light years away from us, but not as many at a distance of 400 or 600 million light years. All a result of these over densities that existed or were predicted to exist in the early universe. Okay, I know this is a quite a confusing concept, but in essence this concept is known as BAO, Baryon Acoustic Oscillations. And I think raindrops or water ripples visually represent this concept pretty well. But like a lot of other predictions in cosmology, these ripples actually grow in time because of the expansion of the universe. And so they were most likely much smaller in size billions of years ago when the universe was much younger. Which also creates a very intriguing way to measure the expansion of the universe by using what's known as the acoustic scale. Basically there's a kind of a distance correlation between the expansion of the universe and the overall size of these baryonic oscillations. And well, according to modern calculations, today this distance is supposed to be almost 500 million light years. And it was naturally much, much smaller in the younger universe. Now this is based on both predictions and of course calculations based on various surveys that were specifically designed to study all of this. And quite a few of these surveys seem to have come to the same conclusion of approximately 500 million light years. Once again, visible at the best in this graph. And so these unusual peaks and valleys produced by the matter itself are one of the most important predictors of the entire cosmology and also to some extent prove both the existence of dark energy and the unusual phenomenon known as dark matter. And as you've probably guessed by now, this is exactly what was just discovered pretty much in our neighborhood. Potentially the first local BAO, Baryon Acoustic Oscillation. With all of this based on an extremely recent survey known as Cosmic Flows 4, a study of nearly 55,000 galaxies in order to try to figure out the mystery of dark energy and to obviously also map all of this. But in the process, scientists behind this study, completely by accident, possibly discovered something really amazing. Something that in cosmological terms is right in our neighborhood. And something they were definitely not looking for. It was discovered entirely by looking at the data containing densities of various galactic clusters. And turns out that there's definitely some kind of a higher density that seems to appear in a circle, or technically a sphere, that's approximately 1 billion light years in size. And the only explanation for this unusual formation is that it is definitely one of those bows, one of the oscillations produced by the early universe. And since this is the most accurate data so far, at the moment it's kind of difficult to doubt this or to think that this is wrong. But assuming that this is correct, there are already a few problems here that nobody can solve right now. First and foremost, it seems to be much much closer than anyone ever anticipated. Which already means that the universe could be expanding much faster than we believed. And more importantly, its size is much larger as well. The predicted size is approximately 490 million light years, but the diameter here is at least double. It's just over 1 billion light years from one end to another. But assuming once again that this is correct, this is basically the first time ever we actually found an individual bow structure that we can identify anywhere in the universe. All of the previous attempts and previous discoveries were mostly based on statistical analysis and just showed us that they exist but none of them were ever seen as actual structures. And so in some sense, these unusual bubble-like structures are actually super important in helping us understand the evolution of the entire universe, the expansion of the universe, and also the distribution of dark matter. And so for a lot of cosmologists out there, this is maybe one of the biggest discoveries of the last couple of decades, if not longer. A direct physical confirmation that baryon acoustic oscillations exist, and there's one right next to us, and a direct way to study these oscillations to learn more about the universe. With the analysis also adding to what's known as the Hubble tension, or essentially that we don't really know how fast the universe is expanding because the values seem to be different depending on where you look. You can learn more about this in one of the videos in the description. And so since the original statistical detection back in 2005, it only took about 18 years to potentially discover one of these objects, or these superstructures, right next to us. And so hopefully this discovery will help us understand the nature of dark energy, constrain a lot of cosmological parameters, and help us figure out where all of this is headed and also how all of this started. 
But exactly what scientists discover from this and exactly what this means, we're not going to know for at least some time. This is a brand new discovery, it still has a question mark in its title, meaning that we're still not sure if this is actually real or not, and only time will tell what all of this means. Until then, check out previous videos on similar discoveries in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.